welcome back to Shine Week with Still Works in Brewing. Today's day two. What are we going to do today? Well, today would, it, it turned out to be a little odd. Uh, the idea I wanted to make was a strawberry rhubarb shine. But you know, I couldn't find rhubarb anywhere. I mean, I checked every grocery store, farmer's market. I couldn't find it frozen. I couldn't find it in a can, fresh, or anything. So, with that being said, I'm going to settle for just some strawberry shine. But there's nothing wrong with that, though. Um, so that's what we're going to make. So we're going to make some strawberry shine. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to make us up some simple sugar. Um, I have two cups of water. Okay. I have one cup of sugar. And usually it's, I found it's always one and one. But this is just the recipes that I've found. And I'm going to add just a little bit of about a tablespoon, teaspoon of lemon juice. Alright, so while that's warming up, I'm going to do it on low. While that's warming up, I need four cups of good strawberries. Four cups. And, and all I'm going to do is basically just kind of quarter them or or uh, it come up in little smaller humps. So I need four cups of that. I just I just couldn't believe the rhubarb situation. But then I got to read on or my wife like got to read on nine that they're only out from April to June. And I guess I'm just a little bit late. Imagine that. Well, it happens. So I have to, next year I'll I'll get the uh, rhubarb. It sounded so good that that's why I wanted to do it. So let me get all these strawberries cut up, and then I'll be back. Okay, I let that uh, sugar syrup. So let's put a little bit of strawberries in this. Now I'm using a half gallon mason jar on this one. So we'll put these strawberries and everything in here and we'll infuse this. Alright, there's just a hair more than four cups. Four cups of strawberries in there. Mmm, they're good too. I let this cool down just for a second. Let me see if I can get this in there without making a big giant mess. Okay, so what I ended up doing is putting about, uh, I filled it up to the strawberries, alright, so I wanted to leave enough room for the, uh, the moonshine to go in there, let me grab one of them. And we're going to fill it up with moonshine. Okay, so that's one quart of moonshine, almost. Alright, there you go. Now what we're going to let that do is we'll let that infuse for about a week or so. And then uh, you'll we'll see the, all the color coming out of the berries. So that means all the flavor are good. And then what we'll do is we'll filter it out. And... Uh, if we have to put a little bit more sweetener in there, we will. If not, we won't. Uh, but I think that's going to be pretty darn good. So, we'll come back on this one in, in about a week or so. And we'll finish this video out. Okay. 
Okay, welcome back to Shine Week. This is uh, Shine number two, our strawberry shine. And if you can see, uh, the strawberries are real, real pale white. Okay, so what we want to do is we're just going to strain out the strawberries. Uh, it's been, uh, what has it been? 12 days. Okay. So, what we'll do is we'll just strain out the strawberries. Oh, the smell is fantastic. I want to taste it so bad, but I, I, I just can't. Kind of, the strawberries look kind of gross. Let that strain out for a minute. Smells very good. Okay. That is an awful pretty color. Uh, you could strain that through some uh, coffee filters if you want, but I don't really see the necessary in that. Um, so, that's our strawberry shine. Ah, smells good. Now, what you could do, if you really wanted to, if it wasn't quite strong enough to your liking, you could add a little bit more shine to it if you wanted to. Uh, or you could dilute it with just maybe just a little bit, if it was a little bit too strong for you, you could dilute it with something too. Okay? Alright. There we go, that's Shine 2. Alright. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Shine Week.